Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are on our way to Malaga and we happen to drive past a butterfly park and I've always wanted to visit one, so we're gonna go and check it out. So this butterfly park is actually in a Thai temple, which is pretty cool. And inside we're gonna see some cool fish, but they also have kangaroos, which is pretty impressive because I've never seen one before. So come on. Oh my gosh. 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 Oh my
this is crazy. The female only mates once in her life, but the males actually have several different partners and mating can last from several minutes to a few days. <laughs> While they're doing their business, only one of them can fly, which means the other one has to be carried, and it's usually the female who flies. That's quite interesting. So apparently butterflies can actually mate with other species of butterfly, but it's not usually something that happens. But there has been a few examples in nature where it actually has happened, and they've made a different butterfly with different patterns on its wings, which has been a combination of both, which is really interesting. So there's actually a little kangaroo here as well. And apparently the kangaroo was adopted from somewhere else. So it doesn't mention here where they actually took him from, but obviously he wasn't having a great life. And over here, they were able to give him a more adequate life. So it's nice that he can actually roam around freely here and eat the plants that he likes and just have a little bit of freedom. Obviously he wouldn't have had that before. So he has it here, which is good. There's also a tortoise here. He's got his hand in his drinking bowl. I don't know why, maybe he needs to cool down. It is hot in here. <laughs> oh my God. Look how big that one is. That is literally the size of my hand. So in all these windows, you get to see the full cycle of the butterfly. So it starts off as an egg, then it becomes a caterpillar, and then it turns into a cocoon, and then eventually becomes a butterfly and comes out from the cocoon. So it's so interesting that we can actually see all the stages of it right here. Are these real? Uh, I don't know, are they? Oh my God, yeah. Alive moths. That oh. is a moth. That's huge. I won't want one of them flying around my bathroom line. So they say actually when you buy your tickets and you enter, you haven't got a time limit here. You can walk around as long as you like. And I don't even want to leave. I think we're the longest people in here. Everyone that I've seen in here so far has left before us. I could spend the day here. I love it. So we've just finished the route around. It's been absolutely lovely and so unexpected. We had no idea this place existed until we drove past. So we're really glad we stopped off. So if you guys want to come here, I would definitely recommend it. I'll leave a link in the description of the location and the website so you can book tickets, but you probably don't need to. You can probably just turn up and pay for them here. If you like this video, give it a like. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell to get notified of all the new videos. So we'll see you next week. See you then.